exactly what the first play was going to be ran. All right, now they get a playoff. Dysert over the middle, and they basically get the penalty back. Football in rushing. Four receivers set. Another quick hitter, and it is caught at the 30. Although you don't want those to rack up through the course of a game. Couple of quick passes to begin the game for Miami. Here's another in practice earlier this week. Bednar gets that snap off well out of the gun, and the pass is incomplete. Dysert over the middle, incomplete that ball in a very nice location coming across on a crossing route you can see it's right in his hands I know there's gonna be a little bit of jitters in this formation for Miami Dysert wants to throw has a man wide open it's Harwell out of bounds at the 20 yard line in the corner this is one of those times where just experience it gets better you you're able as a safety to tell each other what's going on Travis Howard was playing Miami's offense first time they look to Harwell and he comes up with 42 yards. Flag down on the field. Dicer passes complete down to the 11-yard line. Dicer little dump off. This is Harwell again. Tackled quickly in the backfield next to Dicer. He wants to throw. Slant incomplete. He is one guy that Urban Meyer said has really, really improved his game this year. Dicer in trouble. That's Nathan Williams who loses him, and the pass is incomplete. To be able to stay alive and at least get that get rid of that football to prevent the sack. Most quarterbacks go down, but not only that, he keeps his eyes down the field. Zach Dicer, what's new? Wants to throw the football. Incomplete. Five receiver formation. Dicer has time and has a man. That's Scott running free. Scott's got a chance. What kind of speed does he have? Down at the 10. Minute shuffling that's going on. But look at the time that Dysert has. And he gets this ball out of his hands on timing. He puts it right on the hands of Dewan Scott. And he delivers another strike. Gets into the open field and makes a big play here for the Red Hawks. Checks into the game in the backfield. He's number five. Dysert has him open in the flat. Overshoots him. I think... Luke Fickle's going to have to get his defense together next time they come to the sidelines. Dysert right side. Pass is complete. Third down and goal. Dysert wants the quick snap. Dysert into the end zone. Caught. Incomplete. Then he ended up having 97 catches a year ago. The most accomplished receiver by far for the Red Hawks. Nice job of keeping himself alive. Did Dysert. Dysert to throw, has a man, this is Scott again, and it is caught! Ball comes late, loose, and it is incomplete. In stride, but give a lot of credit to Bat Bradley Roby, number one right here, who keeps fighting. He sees that he's beat, but that this play is not dead. Dysert lobbing one up, nobody home. Closest man to it, Bradley Roby. A big play offensively, and now they turn it over. And if there's one guy on this Ohio State defense outside of John Simon that you don't want to get him going a little bit, it's Bradley Roby. But this one, I think they're going to take another look at. He's always been a dynamic returner, but going to be in the backfield as well. He is an outstanding football player. Nick Harwell. Dicer is the only Red Hawk in the backfield. Five receivers. Three man rush. Pass is complete to Scott. And through the rest of the game, if Dicer continues to go at the Ohio State linebackers. Andy Cruz. Well, you can see once again, just right along the sidelines right here. Again, a beautifully thrown ball by Dysert. Maybe the final play of our first quarter. Dysert over the middle. Incomplete. Caught close to the sticks. Throwing, throwing, and throwing. 22 passes already for Dysert. Make it 23. That is incomplete. Touch pass is deflected and incomplete. In the secondary, they feel like if the ball touches your hands, if you've got an opportunity to break it up, then you should intercept it. That's a missed opportunity right there. Two tight end formation. Dicer on the run, complete. Andy Cruz could not hang on. We just saw number 43, Nathan Williams. He's played the majority of this game. 
Pass is high. It is caught. There is a flag down on the field here in Columbus. Dysert wants to throw. Pass is complete. Looking for some running room. Scott. Third and a long one. Incomplete. Punting in practice on Thursday. Out of the end zone about 55 yards. He might have a future on Sunday. Really fast team. There is talent here in the state of Ohio. Simon, good pressure. Dicer gets the pass off. Dicer, plenty of time. Nobody open. Now late, a man comes open, and it's going to be a first down. To find a receiver by the first down markers. On this staff right here that, you know, maybe you missed on me. Maybe I should have gotten that offer to the Buckeyes. Dicer looks one way, goes the other, and completes it. Sometimes you got to dial up a couple more blitzes and get the linebackers in Dicer's face. Incomplete. He's got a lot of weapons on all three levels of that defense this year. Third down throw for Dicer. Going to have to run it. Dives out close to the marker. First time that Dicer has run the football this afternoon. Savino unabated to the quarterback. Can he bring him down? Dicer gets it off, but a flag is going to be dropped. Uh, It'll be a little rough early on, but you want to get him on the field to pass rush. Third down and 30. Harwell makes the catch. Down by 32 now. It's been a 35-0 run for Ohio State. Harwell with the catch. Especially on the offensive side of the ball, they settled down, and once they started moving the football, it doesn't seem like anything's stopping them now. Veteran Dicer throws that out of bounds. Simon coming off the edge, grabs him by the back of the jersey, can't bring him down. And the catch is made by Andy Cruz, 200, 322 pounds. He's got a chance to be a high round draft pick when he decides to leave Ohio State. Another catch made by Cruz for the Red Hawks. Did he stay in bounds? Some of the names, we've got other very recognizable names that have both played and served as a head coach when Bo Schembechler was a player at Miami. Harwell, open. Touchdown, Miami. The defense of Corey Brown, or otherwise known as Pittsburgh Brown, that was in trail coverage right there, and he just got beat by Nick Harwell. Very nice route there, but don't get any ideas. Joel Foreman was a special case. Dysert breaks the first wave of tacklers. And completes the pass, I'm telling you. To be able to keep the play alive, and that's what their offensive coordinator, John Klasick, told us that one of the two greatest things about him is he's got the ability to keep a play alive, and he keeps his eyes downfield. You're not going to see him running 20, 30, yard, 40 yard run plays like Braxton Miller, but just enough to keep a play alive. Designed rollout catch the ball out of the backfield. Be a nice addition if they can try to get some running game going for Miami. Now on cue, this is the guy we're talking about, Robert Williams. Dysert in trouble. Simon on his heels. And it's intercepted. Ohio State has the ball, Travis Howard. He knows where to go in this state, which is so rich with talent. down. Dicer throws it up and it's out of bounds moving all over the line throughout the course of the game. Big time hit. Pass catcher doesn't go down. That's Steve Mark. Because Ohio State has usually always played great defense and I think they're poised to play great defense again this year. Picked off Travis Howard with the ball and Howard out of bounds inside the 10 of the day. And just as we start talking about the offense, the defense makes a big play. But turnovers has been a staple for Urban Meyer and everywhere that he has gone. Play action on third down. Passes incomplete, looking for Harwell. 